New information from Capitol Hill, Steve. We're now, we're now learning that material from bin Laden's house, including computers, hard drives, and storage devices, could take some time to evaluate, even though it's at Langley. Since some of the material was encrypted and needs to be translated from Arabic, this, as the debate heats up on whether the Bush administration's interrogation tactics, including waterboarding, led to the U.S. military's capture and killing of bin Laden. Georgia Republican Senator Saxby Chambliss is the vice chairman of the U.S. Senate Intelligence Committee. By the way, he's seen the pictures of dead bin Laden. He's one of the few people who know about the operation, uh, Geronimo, beforehand. Senator, from as we piece this together, your information's uh, light years better than everybody else's. Do you believe the interrogations over a course of years uh, from rendition and black sites to Gitmo now led to this capture? Well, I don't think there's any question, Brian, but what we gleaned some uh, very valuable information from uh, prisoners who were at Gitmo or prisoners who may have been at a different location and interrogated and ultimately sent to Gitmo. Um, and certainly the enhanced interrogation techniques uh, helped produce information that uh, may have led to the, capture, uh, to the takedown of bin Laden, but we know for a fact that uh, there's other information that we have gleaned that have allowed us to take out uh, bad guys around the world. So uh, there's no question of what the CIA interrogation techniques have proved very, very valuable. Now, the Senator Feinstein on the same committee as you has a different opinion. She says questioning of the Gitmo detainees uh, did not cause us to find the courier who ultimately led us to bin Laden. Of it, to bin Laden. None of it came as a result of harsh interrogation policies. How could you guys differ so much? Well, uh, obviously, uh, we may have a difference of opinion as to um, uh, what is enhanced interrogation? And uh, I will just say that based on the information that I have, the uh, interrogation of Gitmo uh, detainees did provide right. leads to uh, bin Laden. Senator Chambliss, what should we do about Pakistan? The CIA Director Panetta said, we find the fact that we found them where we did troubling. It's a military base a hundred yards away. Our own troops were training Pakistani troops a hundred yards away. What, where do we go from here? We can't just walk away. We've got to change the relationship. How do we do it? Well, what we've got to have, Brian, is we've got to have more transparency between the intelligence community in Pakistan, the ISI, and our intelligence community. Is it possible, uh, though, Senator? Is it possible well, in reality? I, 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 yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, there, there's either total incompetence on the part of the intelligence community and the military community in Pakistan, or they just didn't provide the information on bin Laden to us. We don't know the answer to that yet. We're going to be finding that out. But there needs to be greater cooperation. Uh, look, we know that uh, the Pakistani government has a history of being very corrupt, uh, very difficult, and it's a very sensitive situation. But the fact is that they have, from time to time, provided very valuable information. Right. They've taken down uh, bad guys and turned them over to us. So we're going to have to have some very serious conversations with Pakistani leadership. We've given them $20 billion over the last eight years. Um, a lot of people wanted to stop. Last question, real quick. You've seen the pictures. Do you think it would help for the American people to see the pictures of a, of a blown up bin Laden? Well, I think what you have to ask is, uh, does it hurt in any way for those pictures to be thrown out there? Uh, it's likely to happen at some point in time anyway. You know, this city is, is, is known for its leaks, and somehow that photograph will ultimately get out. Uh, we need to consult with our military personnel, our intel community, to see what damage might accrue if the photographs are released. If gotcha. they make a decision that it won't have much effect, then uh, I suspect they'll be released. Uh, Senator Saxby Chambliss, thanks so much. Okay, guys.